so now that we have already prepared our profit and loss statement the next thing that i want to do is that i want to make this profit and loss statement dynamic so that i can with a click of a button i can change this profit and loss for specific countries so at this moment this profit and loss statement is all different different countries combined together so all the different countries that we were operating in if i can show you in the territory table here we were we were operating in the seven countries and this profit and loss statement is basically you know uh, the sum of all of those seven countries so what i really want to do is that i want to be able to slice my data for each country just with a click of a button and how we can do that that is very easy so we will simply navigate to this pivot table analyze here and you will find this option of insert slicer so we will click on the insert slicer and now you can see that we have the slicer this that is available here and now all we have to do is that we have to select the field on which we want to slice our data and for that i will drag down and i will go to my territory table here and I will click on country and press OK. And now you can see that a beautiful slicer has been added here. And what the slicer will do is if I click on Australia, now I will have the profit and loss statement only for Australia. If I click on Canada, you can see we have the profit and loss statement only for Canada. Similarly, you can do that for all the different countries. So once you have prepared your profit and loss statement, making a dynamic so that it can respond to different parameters within the data that that parameters that are available within the data that is going to be very easy all you got to do is to you know insert a new slicer and finally to remove a slicer all you got to do is to click here on this icon and once you do that you can see that all of your data is now back to its original form where no slicer has been apl applied now that we know slicer let us talk about some more interesting ways in which we can use our slicers to make even more meaningful analysis and one of them will be you know to enable a month to month comparison across these different years or a quarter to quarter comparison and for that all i need to do is i need to go to this power pivot here and click on insert slicer and i will just click on this quarter here and you know i'll click ok and now you can see we have an option of slicing our data at the quarter level and if i click here on this quarter three you can see that now all the three years 18 19 and 20 all the three years data is now sliced for quarter three only and now you can actually compare the like with like you know quarter three of each of these three different years similarly you can compare the quarters quarter one quarter two and quarter four as well and one more thing that i would like to mention here is uh, you can bring in more and more slicers here to to enable to to compare the month to month you will have to bring in a new slicer and this way you can you know bring in more slices to enable more detailed comparison